Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up at FrenchieStamps.com in the US. Today I'm sharing, I am so excited about this because we never had something like that before. The stamp set called Friends are like seashell and then we get the matching uh, dies that go with it and also so you get a few loose one and then you get this big one then this also match with the embossing folder so we never add like a trio like this so the embossing folder it's seashell 3d and then the dice it's seaside she seashell die Woo, that's a lot of is for me so I'm gonna really today it's all about tips to combine all that so like you can see I did play quite a bit before I decide to do my video so this one here was with watercolor water paper this is the new um, pearl paper that we get in this week uh, I'm sure the camera won't do justice this is the thickness of designer series paper so keep that in mind then this was the designer series paper that I embossed with. That's another one that would go perfect with uh, this. It is the C uh, bed. So I incorporate this one even with the seashell. I thought that was perfect. And I had used the designer series paper over here so you get the full suite the suite it is on page 40 so the stamp set with the die you get the opal uh, round you get the embossing folder this is our sticker and this here that's the perlison specialty paper and then you get the designer series paper it is an awesome suite so if you buy the bundle you get 10 percent discount on the stamp set and the die or if you buy the suite the suite it's on page 40 this number right there then you're getting the 10 percent on the stamp set and the die also okay or you can buy separate but i think you want at least the stamp set the die and the embossing folder after you see this video i think you're gonna say i agree and then this one it's in the champagne and this one what i'm excited about it i did the little shell there and look i put the little pearl there are they gonna see it i don't know not a pearl but the opal i thought that was cute here it is again this one it's not embossed and this one oh, this one it's embossed so you can do it plain you can do it embossed it's no limit this one i sponge another stamp set that i thought would incorporate very lovely with that it's sailing on and then we get another one uh light something of with the uh, lighthouse that would be great and then here is on shimmer paper shimmer white very pretty so let's get started let me share some of the tips here so after playing with it a little bit and you can see i get kind of a cheat sheet here well i find it even easier way what you're going to do is take your stamp and we're going to place inside the die so then we're going to know exactly that it match so what i i'm doing i'm taking <coughs> the stamp and put it right <coughs> why am i when i do a video i get the frog in so i'm going to put that in so let me pull uh, the one we need so we need this one we need this one we need this little one that the first time i did i put it on the wrong side but you know the more you do the more you learn and then we get this one and it's a lot of other one like you get the sand dollar you get the starfish the sand it's a cool set okay now this one gonna come over here so you're gonna feel that it go kind of in okay when i mean kind of in because we're doing the back of it but you're going to feel it when you're at the right spot or wrong spot trust me about that it's 
you're going to feel if you're right or wrong. Like this one, I was wrong. Here we go. Now this one. And this, I don't know, um, it's artists at Stamping Up that designed this. But let me tell you, whoever done that, I don't know her name. I should have called and asked. Uh, everything was they thought about everything because we can do it all at once. The stamp set are not touching. So you can do in one setting. I think that is so cool. Now let me put this one. Okay. Now I'm going to take a piece of uh, cardstock because I want to place it on a piece of cardstock too and you're going to understand why I want to do that. Uh, the cardstock measure four by, let me think here, four by um, five and a quarter. And I'm going to put that right here, okay? Now I'm going to place this on this. So that way I can do um, just the embossing and stamp. I can die cut, but I know it's going to fit in the card front. So I'm going to take this on the side, all that on the side, and place it down. Okay, I'm just going to move it a little bit. And I think my paper was a smaller paper. No, that's about right. Okay, let's close this. Make sure this is in the corner there. And we're going to close this and then we're going to lift this up remove your metal and then we can go ahead and stamp I'm going to bring um, a crumb cake oops that's off sway so I'm going to bring crumb cake and I like to have um, I'm sorry here. I like to have a stamp case under so it keep this surface flat. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that back straight here. And we're going to stamp this. Et voila. So now we got this one. We're going to put that one aside. Let's do another one. And this time, what some I did, I used my sponge, and I'm just going to sponge. And this is in crumb cake. And I'm going to take a pool party here. And I'm going to add a little bit of pool party just on the edge of the the shell here just give I think it give a nice color and then I can use a little bit of calypso or you can use a light pink I use quite a bit to be honest of the calypso if you start sponging here what you want to do though is let me bring a scrap paper you want to start on the scrap paper because you don't want it so dark and I'm just going to add a little bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and stamp this. I just want a soft, soft color. I huff on it a bit because I was talking a bit too much maybe. And then press this down and lift it up. See those nice color, how soft it is? Okay, now if you die cut first, I prefer die cut second, but let's see that you did die cut first. What you can do is place it about where you want it. No, I'm sorry. We forget forget a step here. So let me just, uh, I'm going to go with a darker color. That won't matter then. Hmm. Let me uh, do a calypso here. Okay. Now, we're going to bring that, that's going to be our cheat sheet, like I said. I'm going to keep that. I won't do this every time. So next time, you can just place your um, stamp on this and then close your thing. You would be ready. And now that, let's say you get some of this cut out, 
then you can come right here and you can really guess where it go because if you see the stamp under that means you're off right so then I'm going to move that and yeah I should have done another color but that's okay here we go I'm going to wipe this and we're going to do it in crumb cake so let me do that in crumb cake and then I'm going to add a little bit of blue on it I really like the blue or the pink also a pinkish look awesome so now you see that look pretty good now if I close this voila see how cool it is so you can do both ways now let me bring my die cut machine and let me share a few tips with that okay now I got my die cut machine over here so the one that we already uh, done over here that we did uh, stamp them we can cut them now if I can see where I put the die though I got one too many things maybe on my desk that is up oh, here it is so now we're going to need plate one we're going to need plate two, plate three, and three again. So now I can take this, I can line that up because we know it's matching, right? See, all the stamping it's done and it's matching. We're going to put that on here and we're going to roll on. Oh, make sure I'm straight. Oops. But one minute, it's something that was not aligned good here. Let me do this again. Let's put that back on here. Okay. Here we go. Well, what am I doing wrong? I know why I got the wrong plate silly me it's another three that's why it was not going so when you see something it's not working uh, usually it's um, error from my hand right so now the clear plate now we can roll see it roll on easy here we go silly me so now we got And it's a friendly one. See, you just peel this up and it's just a little bit you have to poke away. But now you get the jig of that. So, like I said, you can stamp before or after and so on. Now, let me remove this and let me share. Now, we can bring that to our um, embossing folder. I should have had, here we go. I should have bring my brush, but I didn't. So now we're gonna bring this to our embossing folder. For the embossing folder, I recommend that would be the last step that you wouldn't, um, you wouldn't emboss first and then die cut. Cause the reason for that, it's that if you emboss first and then you go die cut, you're gonna press down your raised emboss. So I say emboss last. Okay, now we get this. We're going to bring the embossing. Now we need plate number one. We need um, plate number three. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, our embossing because it's a 3D. And that embossing folder went where? Here it is. And now we can place that in. The way that I like to place that in, I like to place it in the stamping up here. The, put it that down. Flip the right side. 
down and then you're going to feel the groove if you try to put it here it's raised up so it's more tricky so this way you're going to feel it you're going to be able to put it right in the groove here we go and there so you can see that it's all in got the piece there that don't belong there now we're going to close this and we're going to roll that in and that's going to be with the gray plate at the top and voila and even the back it's pretty see we can even use the deboss side it's beautiful and voila so I just get a little bit of color another thing you can do it's sponge like when I did I can, you can sponge it or just leave it this way now you can take this the one that we done plain there and this one I just line it up from the front because it's nothing cut so I can look if I'm about right you're gonna see the lines there and this one need to go push back more there here we go voila now I can close this and then we can roll it roll on et voila even the back of it like I said the deboss look awesome and here it is with the color that I stamp so you can do it with stamping not stamping you can uh, emboss with the square you can emboss with uh, the die cut you can stamp or not stamp like this one I didn't stamp I just uh, sponge this one it's stamped though but the rest is just sponge if you want to have the individual um, shell what I done I get one here started I just took my scissors and just snip it where they were attached like this and then I could use the single shell this way so I didn't have to cut everything by hand I just had to remove the extra bits and piece this one you get a little bit more because you get the vines beside it but still very uh, simple to do voila so that's how I separate this one so I'm going to have a uh, share this card off and on on my blog but I wanted to share with you the basic of this I call this a trio combo because really the embossing folder go perfect and see on the uh, foil how pretty it is so it's no right and wrong and talking about the seabed there another place I use it that let me share with you must be this one here no it's going to be the last one of course well I got one that inside I am boss must be this one yes so you see this one here that go perfect the seabed um, 3d embossing folder I just emboss portion at the bottom there so it's carry all the theme over because this would be too big to emboss at the bottom but this is the like the bottom of the ocean so I will have many sample right below you get the direct link on my blog but before I was sharing some I wanted to give you the basic how friendly it is to make this all work so thank you so much for watching till next time happy stamping my friend bye bye for now